patent on the cartel Labour Party vote to help him re get re-elected, and Andy Burnham, who has given Sean Fielding's girlfriend a job, and yeah. then his office attempted to refuse to answer a freedom of information request, yeah. providing details of if they actually hired uh, Sophie Holworth, Sean Fielding's girlfriend, the woman who complained about you yesterday, and when the policeman turned up, he barely referenced her. He was more interesting in telling you to stay away from Sean Fielding. Yeah. And today you're told, don't go into social media, and we're not going to put into, into writing why we haven't, because they have to legally put this stuff in. They have to give you reasons. The police are not controlled by politicians. And let me share something with you, Debbie, before we, we quickly finish on this. I had a conversation with uh, DCI, I think D DC Blaine, uh, or uh, Detective Inspector uh, Kenny Blaine, and he already knew what was going on because he tried to defend, he tried to defend the sale of Glodic Baths. He said, oh, it was this, the sale was agreed beforehand. Listen, police people, the sale of a public asset days before an election is corruption. Mm. It's gerrymandering. And here you are now protecting the council. Disgraceful. All yours, Debbie. Anything else? How did you feel yesterday when they, when they turned up? Because you put it up on live, didn't you? I actually felt intimidated at first because obviously they turned up and they've got the, the masks on and it was quite close to my door and what have you. And the first thing, the first thing they said was, come, uh, can we come in? And I was like, um, what for? Um, he said, we need to talk to you. So I did feel quite intimidated. I was on, the, I was on Messenger at the time, uh, live talking to my friend. And she went, oh my God, why are the police at the door? She was really shocked. And, uh, well, I was shocked. So I said, yeah, well, come in. Um, and one of them made, I said, you know, sit down. One of them made a point, no, I'll stand. I'll, you know, I'll stand here, look intimidating. And all the time I kept thinking, when are the handcuffs coming out? I really did think, right, I'm going to be arrested now. And that and that's one of the reasons why I went live, because I thought, well, if I'm going to be arrested, at least somebody for me, for me a solicitor. All we are asking is for the police to do their job and arrest Sean Fielding. They have got to arrest Sean do Fielding and question him under caution. They've got to arrest Arud Shah. They've got to arrest Paul Entwistle. They've got to arrest Dr. Carolyn Wilkins. They have all played a hand, along with Jim McMahon, they have all played a hand in the sale of Glodic Baths days before an election. You know, the rest of it can be my word against your word, this, that, something else. But the Glodic Bath sale was unlawful. It mm. was 100% unlawful. And the funny thing is, Sean Fielding is the only one with hands clean on the Glodic Bath sale. Because he wasn't in charge. It was Gene Stretton. They've, in fact, got to interview Gene Stretton as well. Now, yeah. them, you know, come on, Sh Shahid Mush Mushtaq called you a racist. He did. And, that's, and that set the context and the platform for an yeah. open season on you to be yeah. attacked by gangsters from Glodic. Yeah. Yeah. And that imagine is how disgraceful. I feel. Imagine how I feel, Roger, now, right? Because well, I want to stand in my ward, uh, Medlock Vale, because I, I, I care about I care about the area I live in, so I want to stand. But imagine, right, if I'm campaigning and somebody comes up to me, how I'm going to be feeling. We all know what happened to Joe Cox. Oh, I know exactly how I feel because you know uh, I got something back I'm from very, the, I, I, I got I'm something very, back from this copper as well, wanting to know about what's he called, bloody. Uh, uh, God knows, uh, Kasim Lenny. You know, I think Kasim Lenny is an Islamist. He referred yeah. to me as a gay Christian convert. They want That's me right. to tell the, the police, want me to tell them when he called me that. They've seen the evidence. Listen, go and ask him when he called me that and what he meant by that. Why yeah. are you asking me? I've told you what yeah. I think. I think it was an incitement of my beheading. Yeah. Because these are Islamists. These are yeah. Islamists. Well, I think it's an incitement that the uh, um, Irish Jimmy, Mohammed, whatever he's called, He's uh, he, he's now he's he's inciting violence against me by he's openly saying. And let's have it said, you know, this man used to do, to be a drug dealer, didn't he? He's heroin dealer, dealer, convicted and, heroin dealer. You know, he's he, he knows. Let's have it said, he'll know quite a few uh, people that are, 
not not very favourable. And all of a sudden, you know, I could be I could be just doing just normally doing my shopping in Oldham Town Centre and get attacked. I agree with you. I agree with you. And this is why. But it's the starting point of this is the councillor encouraging it right. by completely right. unsubstantiated, referring to you as a racist. And yeah. no one, he's not apologised at any point. No. In fact, they've doubled down on it with Sean Fielding then calling all of us far-right supporters and people who bravely right. stepped forward and defending us. He's written yeah. to their employers trying to get them sacked. Correct. This I've had, man I've had, is a disgrace. I've had, I've had the Department of Work and Pensions on to me saying that I'm fraudulently claiming um, disabled uh, benefits when I am disabled or registered disabled. They do checks on you, you know. So, so you, you are a registered disabled. disabled. So, so, so a 27 year old fit young woman, yeah? Yeah. Uh, who no doubt goes to the gym and all the rest of that sort of stuff, felt intimidated by you and harassed by a disabled grandmother outside yeah. her home during. Uh, a council meeting, so you turned up specifically at a time of a council meeting, you would have gone to the civic centre if the meeting was held in the civic centre in the normal way. Because Sean Fielding has blocked you and he's calling all of his barefaced lies and involved in the cover-up of grooming, and, I, I, you know, she fear, felt harassed. The police turned up, didn't they, when, when you were there? Yeah, I felt harassed yesterday. So the police turned up when you were outside. The police turned up outside his house whilst you were there. Did the yeah. police who turn up say you were breaking any laws? No. Did she come out at that point and report to the police if she felt harassed at that time? And how many police officers turned up? Three. So three police officers turned up and I'm in my house feeling harassed and threatened by someone outside and three police officers turned up. You know what the first thing I'd do, Debbie? I'd be running outside to the police officers and say that woman is harassing me. Yeah. Nobody came out of that house. And I were actually right outside the house. I was across the road, like I told the police officers today. And like the police officers knew that turned up on the night. Yeah. And the police would have analysed all of this before they turned up at your house yesterday. And they still turned up and to your house exactly yesterday. What they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing with all these crimes that have been reported against Sean Fielding. The reason it's been delayed and taken a long time is because they're trying to find a law to get them out of investigating it. That's right. So they well, let, let, let's let's be honest. Alex Wilkinson only phoned you today and only phoned the victims today because I put out there last night a petition, as is my legal right in a democracy, calling for yeah. the arrest of Sean Fielding. Yeah. And you know what he did? He put up a post and then deleted it because he's a weasel and a coward. Roger, instead of wasting your time, listen, Sean Fielding, I'm an Asian bloke. My entire life, white, privileged white people have been telling me I'm wasting my time. Get stuffed. Right? Because yeah, I'm yeah. very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Get stuffed. Get stuffed. And do you wasting know what? My time. I will defend the people of my town, whether they be white, black, brown, Muslim, Christian, or anything. You and your cartel mates clearly, clearly now are influencing the police. It's obvious. It's so obvious. It's so obvious that, the, that they are influencing the police. I know people that the Failsworth, actually, the community of Failsworth right now are having real problems with antisocial behaviour with teenagers, which I brought up yesterday while the police was here. He looked right? embarrassed. The copy was standing, standing, standing up. The copy was stood it. up and looked embarrassed. They're not doing nothing about it. This is this is Sean Fielding's front door, yeah. by the way. He's got he's got them on he's got them on on speed dial, hasn't he? It's like the private, you know, it's like his private security squad. Well, apparently, Roger, the night after I did my protest, he had three police officers stood at his front door and two police vans, one with recorded devices. Unfortunately, while they were busy protecting Sean Fielding, a poor lad in in, uh, in uh, Moston got stabbed. Beautiful lad. Murdered. Ar arrest Sean Fielding. Police, do your job. Arrest Sean Fielding. Question him. You have to question him. You have to question him. They are doing everything to avoid arresting and questioning him. They questioned me, Debbie, on fabricated evidence. They questioned you, right? This was because Jim McMahon and Debbie Abrams made stuff up. And I'm saying this in, in, in front of everyone. 
you know, doctored evidence and tried to have us arrested and charged mm. and failed. Mm. All we're asking for is some equity. We are saying the people of this town have had enough. Sean Fielding has no right to harass, intimidate, maliciously communicate with the employers of people in this town. He has no right to, to lie about people in his capacity as the leader of Oldham Council and call them criminals when they're not, call them far right racist when they're not, because that makes us targets for these jihadists who want to kill us. Yeah. Because these jihadists have an arrangement with the cartels who have an arrangement with the Labour Party for votes. Yeah. It goes back to the same I, thing I, I all truly, the time. Truly, I truly, truly, truly believe there's a bounty on my head now. I agree with you. I agree with you. And because of that, and my family believe it as well, I've lost some of my family because of that. Yeah. They don't want to come round to me. Don't get me wrong, they love me and they care about me. And, they, you know, and, and I do see my family, but they won't come to my home in case my home is targeted with my grandchildren in the home. Every time my daughter is in my home, I worry that my house will be yeah. attacked. I'm not worried about being yeah. attacked myself. I'm worried about no. someone attacking me whilst my, you know, five-year-old child is with me. This is yeah. disgraceful, Debbie. These politicians have created yeah. a climate of fear in this town. They have given free reign to the Islamists and the heroin dealers from the Pakistani community to go out and attack people who are... And look, let's be honest. All we've asked for, all we have ever asked for, Truth. is to safeguard our children from grooming and gang rape. That is all yeah. we have ever asked for. Talking of that, Roger, I've been sent a, a, a message here, and I think it's a Twitter for Shabir Hamid, and uh, Sahid Mushtaq follows Shabir Hamid, Jim McMahon follows Shabir Hamid, Steve Hewitt. There's a few people on this. On this, I'll send it over so, to so you. Some, so some another dodgy, uh, another Eddie dodgy. Moore's, yeah. Ed Moore follows Shabir Hamid. Yeah, so they've so they've created a fake Twitter account. Uh, so this is, look, people of all the, this is them mocking you. This is Jim McMahon yeah. and his, you've got to move it the other way. That's it. Just hold it like that. I'll, I'll put it up later. This is the people of Oldham. You are being mocked by Labour Party politicians in this town who are now following a spoof account of the ringleader of the Rochdale Grooming Gang who worked for Oldham Council who also was a Labour Party member. Maybe he's coming out of prison and they're going to put him up for a, as, a, as a candidacy in, in Gloddick. You know, maybe he'll, he'll be the next uh, councillor for Gloddick. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm disgraceful. absolutely livid. He's you have every he's right to be livid. And I, I, this is a message. This is a message. What I can do about it, and if I can move it forward about uh, Sahid Mushtaq, I don't know. No, I'm no, no, no. no. The police have to, the police have to give you a reason in writing. And well, he said, can't... Give it you over the phone. I said, well, no, you can't. The yeah, they have to give you a reason in writing why they are not interviewing these people. Why? It doesn't mean because if I got Labour Party badge on me, I'm immune. It's some sort of diplomatic immunity. I can go and rape kids. I can go and do whatever Matt, I want. We need to have a word with Matt Wilkinson. I know he's on and I know he's watching. Maybe you could put a message through um, and and uh, and just have a look. Because, I mean, obviously, Matt, Matt used to be in the police force. So, um, and maybe you can phone him. I'll well, like send him the link. Send, send him the link. Send, the link right, I just sent you. Matt, Wilkinson, Matt, Matt, if you're watching me, I'm going to send you the link now. All, all he's going to do is press it. All it. he's going to do is press it and he'll come on. Yeah. And and you'll come on if, if that's all right with you. I've sent it now to your Facebook Messenger. Debbie, I listened to uh, a woman called uh, the chief, in I think she's the... Uh